Today in the Family Handyman Workshop, we're talking science. We're going to use electrolysis. And I'm not talking about taking the hair off my legs. I'm talking about removing rust with electrolysis. Hang on tight. It's really cool, but all we need is safety first. Rule number one is do not plug anything in until we are completely set up and connected. So the first thing we're going to do is prepare our tub. We're going to attach a piece of rebar with some wire and then we're going to fill it with water and create an electrolyte solution. So we're going to just take a drill and bore some holes. We're going to position our rebar and feed through some wire and secure it. Turn this around so you can see it. Now I'm going to show you a really cool trick. Ready? Who needs pliers? <laughs> Now that we've got our rebar connected, we are going to make a daisy chain connection with a copper wire. It's plastic coated so that we're safe and I've just exposed the ends. So I'm making a connection from one piece of rebar to the other. So now that we have our connection, we're gonna make an electrolyte solution using super washing soda, which is basically sodium carbonate, which is basically salt. So we're going to put in first the water. Great, I got it everywhere else. Now we're gonna add the sodium bicarbonate. We're gonna add the super washing soap to the water solution. And they recommend one tablespoon to a gallon. I know I have here about a gallon and a half, but I also know after doing this a bunch of times that it takes a little bit more than that to make it really work well. And then we're gonna mix it up. Remember, everything's turned off, so I'm safe. There's no electricity yet. Nice, and stir it up. We're gonna do this shoe mold, look at how rusty that is, but I need to float it in the water. So I kind of want it floating in here, right? So I'm going to use a piece of wood, but I'm also going to use some more metal. Do not use copper and do not use stainless steel. You want another true steel piece of metal. So I'm going to wrap it around this. So if I put it in there, it's gonna be floating just a little bit, which is what we want. So now we're just gonna submerge it and let it float. What I want is I want it to be completely covered. We're all set. We're gonna make our connections and then we plug it in. Safety first, second, and third. Here we go. I'm gonna put my positive here and I'm gonna make sure that it completely touches the copper and the rebar, and I am purposely gonna go from underneath so I have my most direct connection to the metal and into the piece. I found that when I used it on top, the wood was doing something to interrupt my current. So now we have all of our connections. We have our positive, which pulls the rust. That's the rebar with the daisy chain of copper. And we have the negative, which rejects the rust, which is gonna be connected to this steel wire here. And below that is our rusty piece, which we want to reject the rust. I'm using a regular old car battery. This one has three different selections of amps, two amps, 10 amps, and 50 amps. I found that two amps didn't work, 10 amps was awesome. So now everything's cleared away. Nothing is touching our solution or our plastic bin. I'm not touching it, I'm gonna plug it in, and here we go, electrolysis. And now we wait, it's gonna start bubbling, but you gotta leave it for 24 hours.
Our electrolysis project is almost done. All we have to do is turn it off. We're gonna disconnect, rinse it off, and see how we did. All right, we're completely safe. Everything is plugged off, no more electricity. So we're gonna disconnect one, disconnect two. Now we take it out of the water. Ooh, you can already tell there's a big difference. Okay. There's nothing dangerous about touching it. I just don't want my hands to get extra dirty. So we're gonna clip this off. And now we go run it under water with our bristle brush. So now we just lubricate it, clean it off. The before, rusty, and the after, nice and cleaned up with electrolysis. And for more projects like this, please join us at FamilyHandyMan.com. But don't forget, safety first.